Photosynthesis. Hello, friends. Today, we're going to discover something truly amazing. A special trick that plants use every single day. It's called photosynthesis. That may sound like a big word, but don't worry. We will explore it together. It's how plants make their own food using sunlight, air, and water. And guess what? Without photosynthesis, there would be no fruits, no vegetables, not even air to breathe. Let's find out how plants help all living things, including us. Imagine if you could make your own food just by standing in the sun. Sounds fun, right? Well, that's what plants do. Plants are like tiny food factories. They don't go shopping or cook in a kitchen. Instead, they use sunlight, water from the soil, and air to make their own meals. And when we eat things like apples, carrots, or rice, we're eating food that came from those plant factories. Even animals like cows and rabbits eat plants to grow strong. So really, plants feed almost everyone on Earth. What is photosynthesis? Let's say the word together slowly. Photosynthesis. It means putting things together using light. That's what plants do. They take in sunlight, water, and a gas from the air called carbon dioxide and mix them together to make glucose, which is a kind of sugar and their food. This amazing process happens inside the leaves. And as a gift to us, plants also release oxygen, which we need to breathe. Isn't that amazing? Inside the leaf, the science begins. Let's take a closer look inside a leaf. If we zoom in, we'll find tiny parts called chloroplasts. Think of them like little green machines. These chloroplasts are filled with a green helper called chlorophyll. It gives leaves their color and soaks up sunlight. Chlorophyll captures the sun's energy, like a solar panel, and helps turn water and carbon dioxide into food. And while making food for themselves, plants send out oxygen into the air, the same air we breathe every day. Why oxygen matters? Take a deep breath in. That's oxygen, and plants made it. Thanks to photosynthesis, there's enough clean air for humans and animals. And here's the best part. We give something back, too. When we breathe out, we release carbon dioxide, and plants use it to make more food. It's like a friendly exchange between people and plants. We help each other without even saying a word. The food we eat starts with photosynthesis. Have you ever eaten a juicy mango, a bowl of rice, or a slice of bread? All of these foods started with plants, and all plants use photosynthesis to grow. Even things like pasta or cereal come from grains, which are plants too. So the energy in our food started out as sunlight captured by leaves. That means every bite we take has a little sunshine in it. The big green cycle photosynthesis starts a big beautiful circle called the food chain. It goes like this, the sun shines on plants. Plants make food using photosynthesis. Animals eat the plants. People eat the plants and animals. Then it starts all over again. Everything is connected, the sun, the plants, the animals, and us. Challenges to photosynthesis. But sometimes things go wrong. When forests are cut down or the air becomes too dirty, plants can't do photosynthesis properly. That means less food and less clean air. But we can help. By planting trees, saving green spaces, and keeping the air clean, we protect the process that keeps our world alive. When we take care of plants, we take care of the planet and each other. Plants keep our world alive. Photosynthesis might be silent, but it's working all the time. It feeds plants, helps animals, and gives us the air we need to breathe. Every leaf, every blade of grass, every tree is part of this wonderful process. Even the smallest green plant is doing something powerful, turning sunlight into life. So the next time you walk past a plant, remember, it may look quiet, but it's busy keeping the earth alive. Thank you for joining us today on Twee Twee Tales. Keep exploring, keep wondering, and always be kind to nature. See you next time.